Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Rocket League video. Um, with the new coming of the season, I thought, you know, it might be good to talk about ranking and ranking up uh, in Rocket League and kind of just games in general. Uh, so today I thought I'd queue up into some games uh, so for some background play. Uh, and then while I'm playing, I could talk about like ranking up in games and mentality uh, that you kind of need uh, going forward in games and you know with the ranking up and uh, getting better. Uh, and yeah, so I guess that's kind of just what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, and I'll get straight into it. Uh, I have not warmed up yet in these games, and I've played my doubles placements, but I think I've been underplaced in gold one considering I was like shooting star at one point last season. Um, but yeah. Uh, so while we're queuing, I guess I'll just start talking about um, mentality that you need uh, going into like games. Um, so whenever you're like going into queue for a competitive game, I think one of like the most important things um, that you have to get out of the way before you queue um, is that like any sort of ego that says like that you're the best um, in your game. One of the worst people to play with is the person uh, who blames everything on their teammates and thinks that they're like the best in the game. Um, whether or not like an elo hell exists in your games uh by like saying that there is an elo hell you like give yourself an excuse for everything that goes wrong which is just really not productive uh in gaining rank and like progressing and becoming better as a player it just provides like an excuse for everything uh that doesn't uh work your way uh like if you feel like this i think one of like the most important things that you need to do as a player like if this goes on um but one of like the most important things that you need to do like as a player or if you see anybody doing this and they like have that mentality is you need to like ask yourself uh what you're doing wrong like what you need to improve on and like focus on the things that you can fix because you can't fix your teammates being bad um you can't like fix your teammates not playing well you can only focus on fixing the things that you aren't doing well like missing boost pads um so like uh when you go into your games or when you see somebody doing that ask them like what what can they improve on or what can you improve on uh that's not you know kind of revolving around your teammates um all right so like the second thing i kind of want to talk about um in game um is understanding that like variance exists so solo queuing into any game uh can be infuriating whether it be like rocket league or overwatch or csgo um, but like when you enter your games, you need to understand that variance does exist and you'll get good teammates and you'll get bad teammates and the enemies will get good teammates and the enemies will get bad teammates. Um, and it fluctuates, but in the end it all balances out. Uh, whether or not you think like you're the most unlucky in the game or the most, uh, unfortunate, I get the worst teammates every time, things like that. Um, it's all variance, so it all, it all even down in the end, kind of just how averages work, uh, and things like that. Um, yeah, and it's also just kind of important to understand that everybody has to deal with this. It's not only you. So, like, overgeneralizing and saying that, you know, it's only this reason that I'm losing or it's only my teammates' fault that I'm losing. Um, it's, like, it's just not productive uh, to, like, becoming better, I guess, in general. Um, so, yeah, that's that kind of comes down to variance. Um, and to kind of, like, go off more about uh, what was just being said is especially in Rocket League um, to not blame everything on luck like when you enter a game uh, and you like catch yourself thinking whenever every time something bad happens for you or any, every time the other guy makes a play and, it, and it's luck when you call it luck or when you say oh the other team's just lucky um, you're kinda putting yourself in a hole because you're not like you're not accepting that you could improve a play. You're not. You're not accepting what you could fix. You're just blaming it on something that's uncontrollable, which kind of goes back to like the very first thing about uh, what was it saying? Uh, you get the worst teammates or blaming things on other other elements. Because when you play a game, all you can do is improve how you play. You can't. You can't change like the game. You can't change your teammates. You can't change, you know, how the physics work of the game. You have to play the game like the best at your way um so it comes back to like not blaming things on luck and not blaming things on oh um and it comes back to like you know doing your best in games and not focusing on things that other people are doing because it's like it's just not productive uh when you play to do that and like remember when we're playing games when things aren't going our way as players what we tend to do is like self-destruct and start blaming everything on everybody else uh, uh because like 
uh, when we start blaming things on other people, it's because our brains don't really understand uh, us being at fault. Like, when you think that you're losing in a game, almost it's never your fault. It's hard to admit that something is necessarily your fault. Um, so, like, it's important to kind of work out what is going wrong and why is things are going wrong in your go games. Like, to identify what really is going on and, like, thinking through what's going on and if you can't do it while the game's going on then at like analyzing it post game or like having somebody watch you and give you like tips on what's what you could be doing better uh it, that's like really helpful as well and then that whole idea kind of just goes back uh to controlling your tilt in general like in online games controlling tilt is like a skill that a lot of people don't have um and it's like it's kind of a known fact that when you're playing a game, if you're tilted, you're playing at a lower level than what you should be. Like, tilting is an easy way to, like, artificially lower your rating because you're playing, like, not focused. You're you're usually, like, raging. You're making irrational decisions and you're kind of being selfish while you play as well. Um, so, like, controlling tilt and making sure that what you're doing is, like, you're making rational decisions and you're thinking out what you're doing. Um, and if you're not, that you need to take a break or you need to switch into, like, non-competitive mode. Um and like cool down or just like get off the game and take a break for a second that can help a lot but yeah i think that's all i have to say about ranking up right now i can share more tips with you guys if you would like in the future um about ranking up and different things like that uh but yeah thank you guys for watching sorry for being a little inactive lately but i've been trying to get out videos and i'm happy that i get one out when this comes out <laughs> uh so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out